What happened? Josh, darn it! Uh, well, I guess we better fix this. I am Joshua Biterman, and this is my channel. Welcome. Let's get this thing in the vise. Let's grab a saw and cut off the darn handle. Looks like we better grab a fresh battery. Here we go. Now we need a drill and a drill bit. This is a 3 8 You want a good hard metal drill bit. This wood's tough. It drills like soft metal. Use medium pressure and medium speed. And clean out your hole often. You want to be careful because this drill bit will get snagged on the metal wedge down inside there. It'll grab a hold and twist your wrist around or break your bit. Now we can start a new hole there with the battery of the drill in the way. Oh, that's a little better. On our third hole, and doing fine. Let's flip her around and start working on the other side. First we're going to get a hole on each side of the metal wedge. Okay, next grab a pair of vice grips and get a hold of that metal wedge and yank her on out of there like a bad tooth. There we go, came right out. Now set that aside for later. Chisel and hammer and punch her out. Hole in one. There you go, easy as pie. Now, this next part's optional for some of you. If you're like me and you save your old half of a hammer handle for your mini sludge, you can grind her down and make a second handle. Or if you broke it off right at the head, you could do it that way too and have about a two inch shorter handle. Now this wood is super hard and tough. You can machine it the way you would soft metal with metal abrasive wheels and grinders and cutoffs. This here is what we call a redneck bench grinder. Be careful not to squeeze it too tight. You also need to check your vise often. It'll wiggle loose. Make sure to use your safety equipment. Let's go. See, grinds nice. No burn, no muss, no fuss. You need to stop and check your handle fit to your head often. Make sure you're paying special attention to the way that the clocking of the handle is, or making sure that the head socket is aligned with the oval of the handle. This is important because the oval of the handle is how you control and aim. If you've ever tried to swing a round handled hammering device, you can't aim with it and you get a lot of glancing blows. If you get that head off even just a little bit, it's not going to swing true. So keep buzzing away at it and checking it often. Remember, it's a lot easier to take some of that wood off than it is to put it back on. Stop and check that vice tightness. Keep at it, I was able to grind this completely down in about 18 minutes. With filming, which makes it take longer. Right here I realized that the hammer was originally in it upside down. That is, it went through the wrong hole of the head. There's a taper on the top, and the hole came through it backwards. Okay, we got her pretty close. Let's have a look. Not too bad, just a little more. Check out this alignment. It's just about perfect. That'll give a really nice clean swing and good aiming characteristics to the handle of the hammer.
Yep, I think that'll do. I think we got her. Always put the head on like this. It lets the weight of the head do the work and drives it down tight on the handle and sets them together nicely. Okay, back in the vise and we're gonna nip off the end of the handle. This was actually only a dry fit. We're gonna pull her apart. We got a little more prep work to do. Okay, we got to cut a lot for the wooden wedge in the top of the handle. But in the meantime, we're going to watch my grinder try to eat its safety guard. Gosh darn it. Here we go. That's a little better. Now we need to make a wedge. I think this will do nicely. Since this is the same tough wood, we can treat it just the same way. Grinders and cutoff wheels should work just fine. A little measure and a little snip, and we should be right there. Check it out, it's coming together nice. Almost like I planned it this way. And I even got the head on in the right direction. And here we'll use that metal wedge that we saved from earlier. It's a little chewed up from the drill, but I think it'll work just fine. Hammer, hammer, hammer. It'd be nice if I had my four pound maul to do this. So I really don't think the one wedge is enough. I've got this little tiny piece of eighth inch thick steel I'm gonna cut a new wedge out of. Here we go. Came out pretty nice. Second verse, kind of sort of similar to the previous one. Hammer, hammer, hammer. And there you go. He's a hammer again. No longer a poor, broken, split-handled, useless piece of paperweight. Oh, if this has been useful to you, please feel free to like at the bottom and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Go ahead and watch on while I do silly poses that are not even in the camera frame to try to set up for my thumbnail picture. Come see me again soon. I'll be posting videos every Friday afternoon, and I'll get an extra one here and there throughout the week. And since I post on Fridays, if you're watching this the day it comes out, have a good weekend.